Welcome to Late Night with Walter Wyford. Y'all, we got a lot of questions to answer tonight. Uh, last night's uh, show generated a lot of questions. So y'all get your beverage. I got my water. Y'all please uh, check out the links in the description box below as to my books, my guns, everything down there. It might be something you want. Y'all, today has been a very trying day for me on YouTube. Uh, last night was the debate. I made two videos this morning. The first video was looking at one side. People that watched that video, I lost over 150 subscribers now on kind of that video. They don't take the time to watch the whole thing. If I say one thing that they don't like, click, they're gone. Uh, if they had just watched the whole video, they would have understood it. Or if they had watched the second one, they would see that I was on the other side. So no matter what I do, I'm wrong. If I say one thing, I'm wrong. If I say another thing, I'm wrong. So I just give up. I want to say what I want to say. And if people want to leave, they can leave. Uh, yeah, it's been a very trying day. Stimulus news. Y'all, I have come to the realization. You know, everybody is saying that they don't want to get a stimulus bill passed until after the election so they can make Trump look bad. Who knows? I've come to realize that I don't think they're going to get one passed until after the first of the year. Uh, I don't even think they're trying. I think it's all a forest. I think they're trying to make us think they're trying. But the whole plan is to get it done after the first of the year. That way they give us one stimulus package this year and another stimulus package next year. And once they give us that stimulus package next year, there won't be another one. I can, I can almost guarantee that. Even if we get one after the first of the year. I have my doubts on that. And everybody is pointing their fingers to each side. No, don't do that. It's not one or the other side. It's both sides at fault. President Trump is at fault. The House is at fault. The White House is at fault. The Senate is at fault. The Problem Solver Caucus, what, what have they solved yet? They're at fault. So it's every, everyone's fault. Everyone's equal to blame on this. That's why I always say vote them all out. They all need to go. Will we get anything better? Who knows? It can't be no worse. Y'all, I will not be talking about the debate anymore. That got me in a lot of hot water. I lost, like I say, over 150 subscribers. So I will not be talking about the debate anymore. Uh, I will only be talking about stimulus stuff on them early videos. Now, this late night with Walter Wyburn, we will talk about everything except the debate. So if you ask questions about the debate, I won't answer them. Y'all, I got a story tonight about Elvis. I have a book, Memories of Elvis, A True Story. I wrote it while I was in Memphis. Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to tell you, when I first went to Graceland, we got there, I, and I've been there twice now. We got there twice, I mean, before the place opened up. We got there probably 7 a.m. or so, and I think they opened at 8 or 9 but out of nowhere, y'all going to think I've lost my mind when I tell you this, but I swear to God, God knows it's true. Uh, I still get cold chills when I think about it. But anyway, 
at the gates of Graceland, they got that uh, rock wall. Well, at the rock wall is a driveway that takes you up to the wall off the off the main road. Well, we were standing there looking in at the gate, looking at the mansion. When I turned around, there was a little sports car. I don't even remember what kind it was now. I remember it, it had a convertible top though. An MG or something. It, it was a little sports car. I can't remember what kind it was. But anyway, there was a man in, in the driver's side and where he came up, he had to reach over to the passenger side to talk to us out the window. The man was dressed in all black leather. He had coal black hair and a haunting, haunting smile on his face. He said, hey, y'all just go on up to the mansion and look around. They don't care. I said, what? He said, yeah, just, just pull the gate open and go on up. And he was so adamant about that, like he knew exactly what he was talking about. And I just had this strange feeling well, we turned and looked in at the gate again, and when we turned around, the car was gone. We didn't hear the car drive away or nothing, but he was gone. That still haunts me today. Now, I'm not one of these foo-foo people that believes in all this ghost stuff. But, you know, even going back to the motel room that night, I just could not get that. I couldn't shake it. Now, the man did not look like Elvis, but he had the black hair, the black sideburns and stuff. And that smile, I'll never forget that smile on his face. He did not look like Elvis. He had the features, the hair and stuff like that. But I'm not saying it was Elvis, but it could have been. You never know. I'll never know what that really was but it haunts me to this day. When we got back to the motel room, I wrote a story about it. That was the first story I ever wrote. And it's in the book, Elvis Memories, A True Story. It's in that book. Y'all, it was just a haunting feeling that I will never shake. We've been back since then, and of course, it's grown up and got bigger and better. They, they say it's better. I liked it better when we went the first time. Y'all, the reason I'm telling you this story tonight is because I had a question about Graceland. And I will answer that question here, and you will understand more when I answer that question. But... Yes, I've been to Graceland two times. And both times was an experience I'll never forget. Y'all please watch the question segment because I've got a lot to say about this still, but I want to move on. A little bit more stimulus news. We still have no deal, of course. Supposedly, Mnuchin and Meadows are still working with Nancy trying to get an agreement, they say. I just don't see it. All this time they've been working, they should have came up with something by now. As close as we are, they could have reached a compromise one way or the other. If Nancy's not going to give in, Mnuchin and Meadows needs to give in. Like I said, both sides are equally to blame for us not getting a stimulus deal. I really believe that the agreement that they've got is not to give us a stimulus deal. I just, I just don't see us getting a stimulus package until after the first of the year. And then when we get that stimulus package, I see that as being the last stimulus package. 
Y'all, my cookbook is still doing very good. It's in the description box below, and it's also on my cooking channel. Please check it out. And that cookbook is Down Home Southern Cooking. It's recipes that's been passed down through my family through the years. Well, I'm working on another cookbook, and I'm striving for it to even be better and bigger and it is cooking with soul. It's soul food cooking. Uh, I mean, I'm a southern boy. That's the kind of food I like. Okay, we're going to get to the questions and answers now. Y'all forgive me if I butcher these names. Uh, some of these names I've never seen before. And I got a lot of them. But y'all, please hang around at least until I get to the Elvis question. I want y'all to know about that. Forrest Duff asks, Who is my favorite author? My favorite author would be Gary Vaynerchuk. I love all of his business mindset books. If you've never checked Gary Vaynerchuk out, he's got a very big YouTube channel, and he posts several videos a day about business, mindset, business mindset stuff. Go check him out. You might like him. He's a little rough around the edges, but he's got great content. <coughs> and one more thing about Gary Vaynerchuk, he is a multimillionaire, but he still goes yard selling every Saturday. Jessica Merle uh, said she would love to have my cookbook, but she wants a hard copy. Jessica, but I'm sorry, there, there's no hard copies of any of my books. I only do ebooks. And the reason why is if I do hard copies, then I have to get on those third party platforms like Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, and stuff, and they're going to take a big chunk of my money. Uh, and I have to play by their rules. And if I go on Amazon, then I can't even put them on my own website for uh, I think it's 90 days. So no, I don't I don't play in other people's sandbox when it comes to my books. So therefore, all I have is eBooks. I do have one print book. Uh, it's uh, affiliate marketing. I've only got like nine copies of that. And when those are gone. I won't have any more. And I normally just give those away for freebies when people order something and they ask for one. I'll, I'll pass them one. Denise Stubbs asked, how can she get one of my CDs? Well, right now I'm in the process of getting all of my CDs recopied. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll show you my CDs. I'm in the process of getting them copied and that way I will have more copies to sell, but I'm just about out. So I got my website for these turned off. Just as soon as I get these CDs back, I will turn that website back on. But I'll just show you the ones I've got right now. And all of these I'm getting copies of, and every one of them's got 12 songs on it. Uh, this one right here is, ooh, I don't know if you can see it. Walter Rocks the House, that's my rock as much as a country boy can rock. It's not really hardcore rock. Then I got Christmas Memories. That's all the old school Christmas songs, country Christmas songs. Walter Country Fever. Most of these songs on here I wrote myself, so. Walter Sings Conway Twitty. That's 12 of my favorite Conway Twitty songs. This was my very first CD. Uh, Walter Wyvern Sings Country Classics, Volume 1. That's old school country music right there. Okay, this one here is another one that a lot of the songs on here I wrote myself or I had friends that wrote them for me. And that is Walter Keeping It Country. Now let me show you this CD. It's a picture disc. Okay. 
That's the only one that's a picture disc. The rest of them just regular CDs. And this one right here, the best of Walter Wyburn. This is my favorite country music songs. So that's my CDs, and I am in the process of getting copies made of all of them. Maybe two, three weeks tops, I'll have them ready for you on that website, and I'll turn that website back on. Linda, Linda Angelica, or something like that? Angelico asked, what part of California will I be going to in December? I'll be going to uh, Ontario, California. It's almost uh, near Los Angeles. Laura James asks, Will I be getting more personalized items like coffee cups and etc. on my website? Laura, I've never thought about it, but if enough people wants me to and they tell me what kind of products they would like to see, I just may do it. I've never thought about it, but it's, it's, it's an idea. Glenda Cooper said that she heard Johnny Bush had passed away. I didn't know that. Uh, I love Johnny Bush. I mean, he is good country, western swing, Texas type music, and that's my favorite kind. Uh, my favorite Johnny Bush song was Undo the Right. That is a good song. And if you can't undo the wrong, undo the right. Oh, that's a beautiful song. Okay. Mar Marcia Bull Bullen, uh, I know I butchered that name, I'm sorry. Ask if I had ever been to Elvis's mansion. And she's also said that she heard that when you're there, you feel his presence. Okay, this is what I was wanting to talk about. From time you walk in the door, it feels like Elvis is standing right beside you. A lot of people said that before I got there and I didn't believe it. I could not I could not go anywhere in that mansion that I did not feel him standing right beside me. Uh, especially at the foot of the steps, uh, the stairwell. Uh, in, when you go in the mansion, right inside the mansion is a staircase. And when you're standing there at the stair staircase and the tour guide is telling you what everything is, it just seemed like Elvis is standing right there, no matter where you go. And the, the funny thing is, me and my wife got separated from the tour group, and someone seen us, and they could tell that we were separated. So they took us on our own personal tour, and they took us places where most people didn't get to go. That was very special. Like back then... Uh, they've got a big building in the back is where they keep all the archive stuff. Back then, you couldn't go in there. I still don't know if you can or not, but I know for a fact back then you couldn't. We did, and it was awesome. When we went in, they told us to put these white gloves on because they didn't want us touching anything, and they wore white gloves also. So that was very special to us. Now, I'm talking about the first time we went there. The second time we went there, we did the whole tour with the whole group and everything. But it was still awesome. Y'all, I told you the story about the guy at the gate in the beginning. I can't shake that. But to further tell you more about the Elvis Mansion... I have always been a big Elvis fan ever since I was just a little kid. In fact, I got in trouble in the third grade for singing his songs. I wouldn't shut up. They sent me to the office to shut me up. It worked. But anyway, Amy always wanted to go to Graceland, and I really didn't. I felt it was kind of disrespectful going through the man's house like that. So I really didn't want to go. But she kept on and kept on, so finally I gave in, and we went. I am so glad I went. Oh my God. That is a memory that I will never forget. 
So yes, I have been there two times and I won't go back and I'm and I and I cover that in my Elvis Memories book. I will never go back there. Something happened there that it almost changed my whole family. And I will never go back there. It's nothing against Elvis. I love Elvis. I always will. If y'all want to know anything more about that, you have to get the book because I can't talk about it in public. Mother Trucking American, America asked, who was the best performer that I have seen in concert? She said the best one that she ever seen was Sawyer Brown. Mother Trucker, American, I know you will not believe this. I have always told everybody the best concert that I've ever seen was Sawyer Brown. High energy, oh my God. Mark Miller, the lead singer, Sawyer Brown, he puts on a show. Now, I, I looked him up not long ago, and he don't even look like Mark Miller anymore. So I just wonder, does he still put on those shows? I don't know. Yeah, but Sawyer Brown was the best concert I ever seen. It was, it was country, but it had the excitement of a rock concert. Sawyer Brown was the best one I ever seen in person. Next to that would be Johnny Paycheck. I seen Johnny Paycheck about, I don't even think it was a year before he passed away. That was a very good concert. It seemed like you was the only one there and he was singing direct, directly to you. In fact, there were several times when we made eye contact and he let me know that he seen me. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure he done it to many people, but I seen it when he looked at me. And I seen the eye contact that we made. Hannah Smooth Megason, I hope I said that right, asked if Amy or me, has Amy or me ever cooked with an air fryer? No. Have we cooked with a slow cooker? Yes. A crock pot? No. I personally, I don't do that kind of cooking, but Amy uses a slow cooker a lot. I don't really like slow cookers. They seem to dry meat out to me. David Rodriguez asks, what is my hobbies outside of YouTube? David, I really don't have hobbies. I don't have time for hobbies. I'm always working either on YouTube or on my online businesses. Believe it or not, I work like 12 hours a day, seven days a week. I have not had a day off in over a year. So no, I, I really don't have no hobbies. Unless you can call work a hobby. Rick Wells asked, could I test the stun gun on myself so everyone will know it works? No, Rick, I'm not going to do that. But if you go to my website for the stun guns on the home page of that website, it's two videos. You need to watch those videos. You'll know they work. I'm a big man, but I'm not big enough to take that jolt. Marcy Torres, I believe, asked, what did I think about the debate? And I'm sorry, I can't talk about that. Just go watch my video from 6 a.m. You'll see what I thought about it. 
and it got me in a lot of hot water. So no, I lost over 150 subscribers for that video. So I'm not talking about that anymore. Sorry. Josephine Garcia asked how to order a stun gun. The link to my stun gun website is in my description box. Just go there, click the link. And she also asked uh, how much are the stun guns. They're $21.99. And you also get that, that pin button that I'll, I give to any order. Uh, the pin button is an eagle and it says we the people are pissed off. And if you order one, two, however many orders you make, that's how many buttons you'll get. And I know you only need one yourself, but you have some to pass out to other people. I also have bundles on that website where you can save money. Now, I know I'm going to butcher this name, but I'm going to give it a shot. Ron Jana J. O one asks, what is my favorite meal to cook? I don't know what you call it. Some people would call it hamburger helper, but I don't cook out of a box. But I like to make macaroni with hamburger meat, bell peppers, red and green, onions, and diced stewed tomatoes. I like to cook that together and then I like to sprinkle cheese on it, stick it in the oven, let that cheese melt. That is so good. And another thing you can do with that too, after it cools off, this sounds gross. Don't say it's gross until you try it. My family, I mean my brothers and my sisters, we all grew up eating this. Don't say it's gross until you try it. It sounds gross. After it cools off, get you a bowl. Put about a tablespoon of mayonnaise in it and mix it up. Ooh, that's so good. Lois Ann Wapner, Wapner, Wap, Whopper. She commented last night also. Asked, what's my favorite food? Mexican. I could eat Mexican food every day. What's my favorite color? Black. What's my favorite ice cream? Vanilla. Uh, she didn't ask, but what was my favorite brand? Bluebell. It's just too expensive to buy, so I buy generic brand. Patty Sprawls asked, Did you ever sing Good Time Charlie's Got the Blues? Yes, I did. Matter of fact, it's on one of my CDs. I love that song. I love doing that song. Uh, I know it's a country song, and Charlie Rich had a big hit with it, but if you've never heard Dean Martin do it, you need to check it out. I love the way Dean Martin does that song. So, yeah, yeah, I have sung it. In fact, it's on, the, on one of my CDs. Laura James asks, What country stars have you met? too many to count. Uh, I've met country stars, country producers, country writers, you name it. Too many to count. Uh, I would say the one that really touched me the most when I was a kid, I met Hank Williams Jr. And I've got a very touching story about that it's on my music channel, but I will tell y'all the story of one day here. Uh, that was the most, it meant the most to me. Y'all again, please come back here every night at 10 p.m. Check out my videos in the morning at 6 a.m. and at 12 p.m. Check out my links, my cookbooks, my stun guns, pepper sprays, tactical knives, and check out that Elvis book. It's on my book website. Uh, I've got two websites with books, but if you scroll down, the one that says uh, 
Walter Wyburn's My, My Books or something like that, go to that website. That, that book is on that website. Check that book out. You m might want to get it. Uh, it's a true story. Uh, and what happened in Memphis almost changed my whole family dynamic. It, I will never go back to I will never go back to Memphis on kind of that. But again, I can't talk about the details of it here. Uh, my lawyer won't let me. So y'all go check that out if you want to. Y'all, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Watch the video that's popping up here now. I'm going to put the, the uh, late night with Walter from last night if you didn't see that. I do love you all until 6 a.m. and tomorrow morning. Keep your faith in God. We will get through this thing. I know we will. And please understand on the debate, I have my opinion. And I wish people would, when I say some one thing that they don't like, I wish they wouldn't click away or pop off the handle at me. I wish they would hang around and hear me out, hear the whole thing they would understand where I'm coming from. I love you all. Until the next time, ciao.